Can the U.S. refine rare earth metals? Well, this company says it can. This is Phoenix Tailings in Massachusetts. It's one of a handful of companies in North America trying to refine and produce heavy rare earth minerals that are crucial to components for everything from your iPhone to American fighter jets. Right now, China refines about 90% of the world's so-called rare earths. It's a dominance China's built up in the last 30 years by consolidating companies and imposing strict export controls. And in the latest U.S.-China trade war, China's been able to cut off certain rare earth exports entirely to the U.S. and Europe. Mines that produce the materials which become so-called rare earth minerals are actually pretty common. But refining these compounds has proved tricky. Several American companies have tried to break into this market before and failed, in part because China has so much market share. But now companies outside China, like Phoenix Tailings, are trying again. This is where we take rare earth oxides and convert them to the final pure rare earth metals and metal alloys. Right now we're running NDPR, neodymium presidymium alloy, as well as ferrodisprosium, one of the key resources uh, that have been restricted from China. They hope to provide the U.S. defense industry with rare earth magnets and create a supply chain independent of China.